Hey, you guys. So as most of you know, this is, I'm Anna Ojeda, and I am an agent here in, in PRG. Um, I have a team um, that I don't have any agents for right now. I'm looking for agents. <laughs> but, you know, I'm trying to build my team. But um, so I'm here because I wanted to create something where we all can interact with each other and we all can talk about our experiences, what we do, what we can, what we can learn from each other and all that. And, um, you know, I've been an agent for 21 years now and I, I love what I do. I, I wouldn't change, you know, like my whole trajectory for anything. I wish that right now was better but I think we're all in the same boat. Um, so we just have to learn from each other and see what's working for some that is not working for others. And, you know, we don't know, maybe we can grab some tips and grow together. So that's basically the purpose of this class is nothing that I'm going to be, you know, having you uh, take notes and specifically is just for you to learn more about each other. Um, you know, I, I want to kind of break the ice. And if some of you can give me like, um, some uh some of your personal best like what is one of those things that you guys did in real estate that was just like your highlight of your career um i'll grab like three or four people that can just give me you know some of your personal best so that way i can you know we can all encourage each other and we can all like feed off of that experience and that 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 you know joy so um let's see uh grace can you give me your personal best uh in your career that you were just super proud of I don't know. I can't think of anything on top of my head that I'm like super proud of that I've done. Yes, um, in, in your in your real estate career. So one thing I always as I, I I did is I created a binder for my buyers and my sellers. And every time I show it, I have yet to get somebody saying no because they see how OC and organized I am. And it makes a big difference. And that helps me. And it, it's I have yet to have somebody say they don't want me to to be their, their realtor? Well, like for me, my personal best, as far as, you know, in my career, what has like helped me to always get more motivated about continuing with this career is basically the time that I helped a 19 year old close on her first investment property. So, and this is, this was when I was in the business about three years in, and that was a very, very important um, situation because it just showed me that, you know, the youth are excited about real estate and they're excited about this. And after that, she literally bought about five properties for me and then she got her license. <laughs> but, you know, that's one of those things that is one of my personal bets that I was like so excited that I was able to guide her and get her to that point. So for you, Mamacita, what is like your best personal best that you could tell me that? I think um, my very last uh, presentation was a young couple, Mr. Myers, and um, I just find what area is region. So well, my husband, of course, is definitely way ahead one, and we took the um, same place subdivision, and we found two houses that I thought were really nice. So the first one that I did this was for me. So sure enough, that was they had gone to see it, and that's the one that they wanted, but they had to like a couple months ago, and they're like, yeah. Fresh cows and reduce the price and get them extra stuff. Perfect. So, so they were super excited that that was a house we had gone and paid for them to look at. Because you learn what they wanted, you learn, you hear, you listen to them, and you were able to provide for them exactly what they were looking for. That's their faces. Closing and small made it very it's awesome. Anybody else wants to share anything? Um, I had a fireman and we were having a hard time finding a house. This was right in the middle of the creek. Uh -huh. And so in his testimony, it was hard to get something that would meet the long guidelines. And, you know, because it would was needed too much damage. So the first one that I showed him, he fell in love with. Uh -huh. We were able to kind of, said, I don't think this is going to work. And anyway, we got the inspection report back. Um, you know, he still wanted to try, so we put the offer in and it's accepted. But then the lump didn't work, and he was so discouraged, you know. And I said, well, it wasn't meant to be. But yeah. That would have been really cool. And then we found another one, and that one was 
uh, again, he, we didn't win the bid on that one. But the third one, I said, you know, I'm not giving up on you. Oh, no. So uh, the third one that we found was in a nice neighborhood in Kerrville. And I still, um, I go up at Super Bowl and I take pizza to the fire station. You know, oh. there are real heroes. Yes. Uh, so I always do a presentation, you know, give them pizza at the fire station up here in Super Bowl. Well, and yeah. so, but the joy that he had, you know, and he had been turned down, turned down. And I remember talking to the realtor and I told her, I said, you know, if my car turned over like a deer or something, I said, he would risk his life to get me out yeah. of the car. And I cannot find this man a, a home. And it just, it was breaking my heart. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't going to give up. It yeah. took us three months, but. Yeah, I mean, that's a that's a big deal. You know, the fact that we don't ever give up because we know that the end result, getting to the promised land is not only for us, it's also for them. You know, it's memories that they're going to create. They're not buying chiclets. They are buying a dream. So the fact that we are able to fulfill that dream, that's a big deal. Okay, guys, well, let's get started with the mastermind. Um, I kind of want to hear from you guys, like, what is your lead generation um, like, what are you guys doing right now? Uh, I want you guys to give me like one or two things, you know, that you guys are doing. I don't want a big explanation. We'll get into the big explanations later on, but I want to know like what exactly you guys are doing with your lead generations. So, um, what methods are you currently using to generate leads? Which of these methods have been most effective for you and why? And what new lead generation techniques are you interested in exploring? So let's go with, uh, let's see, oh, if I could see. Mr. Garcia, let's see, what are you doing? What am I doing? Lead generation. <laughs> well, yes. let's see here. I've got uh, Reminder Media, who I deal with all the time. I've had oh, that's them. a good one. Uh, yeah, I've had them for about, I don't know, two or three years now. And it all, always keeps me in contact with my clients. That's what I'm. That's what I'm coming up with. You know that it's not a. It's not an immediate thing, but it, you know, over time, it's a. It's helping me out and keep me in contact and so forth. To where you know I've got somebody that calls me up and says, you know, hey, I want to, you know, I want to buy this. And I'm thinking, well, gosh, that was good of him to to remember me, remind the media, you know. And the other thing okay. is, I'm doing op city, and uh, so that's uh, I. I did it a while back and was very successful at it. And all of a sudden went down to no, no leads at all. But all of a sudden we picked it back up again and it's turning out, it's turning out good. And then I also want to do YouTube. I've been watching some stuff on YouTube and that seems very, I, I think that's going to be a good lead uh, gener gener generating thing, you know, so I'm going to tr try that here before long. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Anybody here in the office, what are you doing? So then I once in a while, I just not nothing comes to my mind. I just say anything that you text to with that, uh, to find a similar house right about nine months ago, they moved out from the intervention and actually just came back and said, see as recently as I can get up to rate one or that you just put me back. Um, same thing. He's a young guy and he was girlfriend, now they're married. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I came along and of course we're always here. When people come around and they're like, oh, no, 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 yeah, I'm not going to come read this. Or they're mm -hmm. thinking, you know, they're going to kill the deal. And you know, the dad was like ready, you know, whatever, guarding his son, right? Because he's reducing, he's like, like 20 year old. You know, I ended up, and I guess he thought I was really looking out for his son and ended up selling his house. He bought a house and I was probably his sister right now. So he's getting married. You can sit here if you want to. Yeah. Um, okay. Can I, can I say Anybody something? else? Can I say yes. something? Yeah. Could you okay. possibly, like, uh, when they say something here in the in the room, uh, kind of mention? Yeah, it the microphone, right? We can't hear it. I can't hear anything. Okay. Okay. So I'll get close whenever they say something. I'll get close to them so All that right. way they can. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, guys, I, that, I just thought about that. Okay, um, which these methods have been the most, well, you know, so these methods have been the most effective for you guys. 
Uh, what new lead generation techniques? Are you? Okay, so what new lead generation techniques are you guys, you know, interested in exploring or learning from that you guys may have heard somebody's using and you have no idea how to use it? Is there anything that you guys want to learn about? Anybody? I think just for me, oh, I'm sorry, I just feel like what Lonnie was saying, I, I think like the YouTube thing, it seems like everybody's doing that, wanting that. Uh, social media, TikTok, and all that stuff is great, but I think people are really you know, daring towards uh, YouTube, so maybe we need to have kind of some YouTube videos to see what's going on there. Definitely. Who else thinks that YouTube will be a good idea to, you know, get a class on? Raise your hands. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Anything else that you guys may want to learn about that is something that you've been thinking about? How many of you, number one, how many of you use KB Core that the office offers? Class. You just went to the class? Yes. Did you Sorry. like the class? Yes. I love the class. I'm going back. Okay. Uh, over there on Zoom, how many of you guys use the, the um, KB Core? Well, yeah. What is the name now? Ultra. Okay. Okay. Mr. Bob, Miss Enrique, Jasmine, Tony, Sandy, I'm calling all you guys out. Turn on your cameras because I cannot see you and I cannot, we cannot interact with each other. This is an interactive class. What, what uh, lead generation systems are you using? Generate a lead? What's that mean? Like for you to regenerate leads, like uh, clients, for you to like get more clients. What are you using? Are you using social media? Are you using some Chinese? You do? Yeah, which hard, like a which hard, like a which hard, actually, like maybe like, like a more, let's call it call. Uh, English, what's that? What's that? Yeah, yeah, but in China, it's which hard, and I use the Xiao Hong Shu. Maybe like a Facebook, uh, I posted, uh, yeah. So it's social media in China. Yeah, but uh, Facebook, uh, I sometimes write in Chinese, not so many clients, I just say no one client from Facebook, <laughs> so I'm not using Well, that, that's good. I mean, we all have to adapt to what we what was best for us, you know, especially for her, Chinese, you know, and yeah. they're not using uh, Facebook and, you know, my clan oh, okay. And this is a, like a Facebook. So it is some type of social media. Yeah, like a this, like a return. I have a group of like three hundred. Oh, so it's kind of like WhatsApp, but it's for China. Okay, yeah. this is great. This is great. You know, see, everybody's trying to find a ways of reaching others. So we always have to find what works best for us. But like I said, you know, we don't ever know if something is working best for somebody that may actually work for us. And you know, if we tried it years ago and it didn't work then, but who knows now it might be actually different than back then. So um, is there anything else that over there on Zoom wants to share with us that you've been doing? Yes. Okay, Ms. let's go miss it. Okay, Grace. Sorry, I've been using, um. TikTok and Snapchat. And I have gotten clients from there, surprising. A lot of like weirdos and stuff like that, but there have been some that have been good. <laughs> okay. So Snapchat. Oh, that's the first one. I have. Yeah. I just thought that the kiddos were the ones using the Snapchat and just for filters. So that's a good one. <laughs> okay, Miss Arroyo, what are you doing that is working for you? Well, I I believe <laughs> strong in social media, and I just uh, studying created uh well taking advantage of my background as a professional dancer, so I put it together my dance uh background with the real estate, and I think I'm getting a lot of attention from, you know, uh, friends, family, you know, other people. So I just post, uh, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but I just post a video on Saturday and I got almost 2,000 views. I saw wow. it. I love it. That's it a is big awesome. video. That's so, awesome. So I think, I think beside, I mean, obviously we, we want to get business, but I think very important is uh, to keep, in our in the people's mind you are a realtor and you can help yes. them to find the house so if you're you know showing them houses 
tips, whatever information about real estate, just stick in their minds. You are there for them. So I think that's well, awesome. Yeah, probably, just uh -huh, just I think it's uh, right now. Beside all the marketing we can do, the best lead generation would be social media, and yes. uh, more more about uh, videos. People like mm -hmm. videos. Okay, are you guys doing any like um, automated texting, like texting to your clients? Um, I know KB Core has that. So if anybody's using KB Core, are you guys using it? Are you using it? Well, just with the leads that come in through the office, it automatically, and then you can send some on your own as well. Okay. So, but are you using it like in your database? Do you have, do you have like reminders for like their birthdays and stuff like that set up? I'm new to being a real estate agent, so I don't have a lot of clients. No, but you're good at KB. Uh, you're good at KB Core, so that's all you My need. My gets like 100 texts. Yes. No. Uh, <laughs> anybody over there that has something that is set up automatically? um, Like that, like texting reminders and emails and stuff like that. You do? What do you have, Julia? Oh, the same, the, how do you call it, Ball Trail or Credit Core. Okay. I set up, yeah. I'm trying to set up all the buyers and sellers with the market reports or uh, um, uh, buyer sellers news or something like that. As well, if I have the birthdays, I always like to uh, ask for their birthdays and anniversary. So the same. Perfect. Thing. That's you have, great. You have to uh, be in their brain, <laughs> in their minds. Yes. You're there. Yes. Constantly. Okay. Um, this is going to tie into the lead generation, but like finding buyers, how is it that we are identifying uh, potential buyers in our market? Well, you know, the same thing, the tools and platforms that we're reaching, you know, is, is basically what we just talked about. And if you can just share a, a successful com campaign or strategy that has helped you find buyers, do you guys have a specific, are you guys more, uh, uh, targeting buyers or are you guys targeting sellers? What are you targeting? Either one. Either one. <laughs> you want to work with everybody. You, Mister. What are you? Luckily, I've been doing sellers. Uh, buyers is just been by referral. Yeah. It's just by like referral. Oh, so he is my referral. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So, what are you doing to grab those sellers? Is it basically what you what you're talking about the pub buys and and all that? Yeah, just just the, my past clients just being able to teach them and they with me. So okay. Do do you any of you guys do anything like um pig baskets or like little gifts um yeah you know to the uh to the your past clients you know where is Thanksgiving? I know that there's an agent that gives about two thousand Thanksgiving pies. You know those those. I'm like, that's a lot of money and I don't bake. So, <laughs> I mean, I know that there's a lot of people that do that, that just go and give their clients, you know, uh, their past clients or regular clients, you know, just uh, reminders of the festivities and things like that. Um, do any of you guys do that? Anybody? Grace, do you do it? I haven't in a while, but I used to. Um, I actually okay. made in the past, like a, a jam, like a little cute little jelly and put in a little container. And I gave them out like to, when I did open houses, put it around. And then um, I did it to a little bit bigger jar, the smaller jar. I gave it to like, um, I did the events in the neighborhood and everybody who donated all the companies, I would go and give them some along with my uh, postcard of just sold. Oh, that's a great idea. That's, see, that's something that I would have thought about. So that that's that's a great idea. Are you doing anything specific for your clients? No. You are you doing it? Um, at Christmas I do a gingerbread house competition, so they like that. And then um, I open house. I bring my little uh, Popeye things, huh? like hand sanitizers. And I saw on Instagram somebody. You know how when you were a kid you went to the dentist and it was just a bunch of little things, oh, a yeah. basket of stuff. And then they would get to pick something out of the basket when they left. I thought that was kind of fun. And that's and have your card answers. on it. Yeah, have your card on it. So. Okay. That's Halloween. Anybody gives out like little bags of uh, candies and stuff with your card on? No. 
No. I do, I do the neighborhood no? event for Halloween. And I put my, I do like a little area for my real estate and people come and grab stuff. That's a number one thing. I always do that. I always make baggies with good candy. And you have to spend the money on the good candy. You put some Mexican candy and some chocolates and chips and they're happy. And you put your card in it. And then, you know, you can always add some flyers. Uh, you can talk to your lender and see if you guys can go halves on creating a, a marketing, you know, flyer that you can put in there. And just something small that says, okay, this is what the interest rates are looking like right now. This is what's selling in your neighborhood. X, Y, Z, that you can always go above and beyond of what, you know, uh, the rest, are, rest of us are not doing. You know, because I include myself. Sometimes we get lazy. And right now is not the time to get lazy. Right? Any other ideas that you guys have to grab the attention of buyers and sellers? Well, tell me. I haven't done it, but I'm going to schedule on my calendar. I always want to do this. Uh, there's another realtor here in the subdivision I live. And I think it's a great idea. And obviously, San Antonio, is, we have thousands of neighborhoods. But for the 4th of July, she's talked uh, a little USA flag in each uh -huh. uh, front yard House? with the, her business card. That's it. So all the neighborhood looks very pretty well with your American you know, flag and her business card. So oh, that's I, a good idea. I mean, uh-huh. And the neighborhood- That's a really good pretty. idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, but I never done it. You... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it next year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and you can even do like a little Christmas, you know, decoration light something, you know, that has your card on it too. I mean, there is ways of going outside of the box. You know, just thinking outside of the box. What is everybody else not doing? And a lot of us are not doing a lot. You know, we are just doing what everybody else is doing. In yeah article on Popeyes for realtors. Just do realtors Popeyes on Pinterest and you'll get all these ideas with their taglines that they use all for all different scenarios. I think we need to have a Pinterest class because I am not good at Pinterest. I have the account, but I literally mm -hmm. I don't have the time to scroll through through all of the, the ideas. I'm very you know um ADHD. So I <laughs> <laughs> my head goes in all directions. So I think that doing a, a, a Pinterest class would be a great idea because that way we can always um, follow a guideline, you know, of how to use it and how, what to look for, and especially for our business. Actually, actually, um, no. Oh, there's, they have a Pinterest business. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was say I'm, I'm, I think it, uh, I'm starting using a lot of AI. And yes. if you just type, please give me 12, uh, marketing ideas for my real estate business give you the um i mean whatever amount of ideas you want it you can ask uh ai and it's they're great great ideas how many of you guys are using ai it's chat gpt it is the best yeah. it is the best you have ai oh guys how could you not be using it which AI do you see? What? Which AI? Because you said that your AI is. My don't AI doesn't do that. I have the chat GPT, <laughs> but really it's yeah. like, uh, I mean, I just wrote an email for, you know, another realtor for inspections repair. Uh, took me two minutes when I spent like 10, 15, 20 minutes in writing down an email with, you know, all this. ChatGPT has worked wonders for me. So, my English. A lot of us, um, you know, a lot of us speak Spanish, but some of us, I, I'm, I'm a, 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 I was born in Mexico, so I better know how to read and write in Spanish. But some people just speak it and don't know how to write it. So if you use ChatGPT, literally you type it in English and ask it to translate it to you in Spanish and it will translate it properly. It's not just like some gibberish stuff. It does translate yeah. it properly. So if you guys are not using AI, 
you guys really need to do it because it's extremely important. We are in the times of artificial intelligence. We are in the times where people are 10 steps ahead of us because we are not using artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it sucks because literally they are making us stupid here. <laughs> yes. but you know we literally need to get with the program you know it's it's 2024 and you're saying um, huh and save you time yes yeah i mean literally i i mean being in the business for so long i remember we always had time we always had time for things it's like oh yeah yeah write that email it's gonna take me two hours of course you know oh yeah you know i don't have docusin because it didn't exist back then you know i'll go and meet you at your house i'll go and meet you at your office and or you can come to my office you know after hours picking up checks you know because some title companies didn't want to deposit the money or your you know broker didn't want to pay you on time but you know it, it's the time changes and we have to change with the times you know we started using DocuSign we started using dot loop we started using CRMs which in my time CRMs didn't exist it, there was only top for top producer I think and that was about it so you guys literally have to get progressive um marketing strategies like what what are marketing strategies are you guys using as far as prints are you guys walking your neighborhoods? Are you guys doing any events um, like, you know, uh, past clients events, like maybe once a year you guys do um, a client appreciation or anything like that? Any of you guys are doing anything like that? No, no. I want to do a client appreciation where you do the movies and all your clients go to. I think it's like they only allow like a certain amount of people for the movie theater but it's like a hundred dollars or something. It's not, it's not expensive. Yeah. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. I did a shredding event in my neighborhood. So I basically bought, a, a, well, I, I, uh, I rented a, um, a shredding uh, truck. They came to my neighborhood. I did it for two days, but two weekends. So, you know, one Saturday and the following Saturday, and I had everybody come and, um, you know, bring their shredding stuff. Um, and I did it in my neighborhood and I did it in my lender's neighborhood. You know, he, we went halves. So it cost us, uh, it was $350, $350 uh, per, per day. So it was about $700. But it was a great turnout, you know, because you never think about it that you have accumulate so much paper, you know, and you want to get rid of all that stuff. And then if you offer that to your clients, or, or just future clients because it's in your neighborhood. And that way they always remember, oh yeah, my realtor friend that da, 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 brought that, you know, shredding machine or shredding thing. So it's all, it's a great tip that you guys can always use and, you know, do that. Um, you guys can always do a uh, Easter event where you guys bring just an Easter bunny and take pictures, have food, have cookies, you know, interact with the kids. There's always things to do but we just have to get out of our comfort zone. We have to get out there and we have to make sure that people know who we are and what we do. Can you advertise on Nextdoor? I used to, but Nextdoor has become a lot of garbage that I, I think it just, it gets too too messy. So I, I, exactly, too many complaints. Anybody else has any ideas? Any tips? Mm -hmm. How did you promote that? Did you go like door door? Actually, I put it in the in the Facebook page, in the neighborhood Facebook page. Yeah, that's all you do. And then um, I did like I live in Helotes, so I did Helotes. Um, oh, my neighborhood does not allow for people from outside to come in the neighborhood, so it was only for my neighborhood. But then I my uh, lender lives in Stillwater Ranch. They allow anybody to come to Stillwater Ranch. So for Stillwater Ranch, I promoted it in the Helotes, um uh, garage sales, you know, uh, in that page in fa on Facebook. I promoted it there. And then I put it on my own regular Facebook page. You know, I put my flyer. I created a flyer on Canva. So if there is a class on Canva, you guys got to go to it too. Um, so create your flyer on Canva and then just put it on your social media and just make sure that you continuously post it. Like a week before, two weeks before the event, 
just remind people what you're going to do. Remind people, even a month before, if you haven't already thought about it, and then, it, you know, you have a month in advance, make sure that people know. Any other questions, any other uh, ideas that you guys may have? Zoom? No? Nobody? Mr. Garcia, are you doing any of these things that are outside the box? Not really. No. Okay. Is any of what we're saying, does it catch it, catch your eye? Like, do you think that it's something that you could probably switch your ways and maybe add on to your to your marketing? Oh, uh, probably could, but I missed half of it. I went to go get a new pair of glasses. So <laughs> I missed some of it. Oh. <laughs> Well, we have the class recorded, so you can watch it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But what the, you know, one thing I was doing was uh, I mentioned to you that I was doing Reminder Media. They had called yes. me up one time and asked me if I wanted to do something with Facebook, and I did. And what it was doing was it throws it out there, and I would it would say you know something about a three hundred and fifty thousand dollar house, you know. If you'd like for me to send you some properties for three hundred and fifty, and that would it was a beautiful house, and they would look at it, and uh, I was getting quite a few leads on that. Like boosting, were you doing boosting? Boosting, like a boost, a boost. Uh, yeah, yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, I guess something like a boost. But see, I'm so uneducated in social media that uh, I'm just like following the lead, you know, and. Uh, no, but that, that's a good thing that, you know, if you didn't know about it and then you were open to learning, that's mm -hmm. awesome because yeah. that's what we all need to do. We just need to be open to learning and new strategies, cost, new ways. It would cost a little bit, but I, it's like every time I got a lead, it was like $6 or $7 or something yeah. like that, you know, so it was, yeah. you know, it was okay. Um, you know, so that I was getting quite a few of those. And then what I would do is I'd set them up on a search uh based on their criteria you know and to get in contact with them i would tell them hey listen it, it you know i've got your information i appreciate that uh tell me what area you're most interested in so we can concentrate on that area and then i would create the uh, search and send it to them you know so I'm that's, still that's a great things. idea can can you put in the chat uh, the information of the the company or whomever was helping you do that sure mm -hmm. Okay, if you don't mind, so that way we can all, you know, learn from it, you know, and maybe contact them because that may be something that we can use. Oh, um, you said Susan? Sandy? Oh, you're in the car. Okay, so you're a marketing specialist? I'm sorry, I'm a, no, I'm not a marketing specialist, no. Her daughter has a, doesn't your daughter have a marketing background? Oh, she's a student. <laughs> yes. She's a marketing well, student. Well, put your put your expertise to work, girlfriend. Yes, I definitely have to. This fall, I'm going to have a job at my school, like a work study job at a marketing office. So that that would help me a lot to put things um like hands on. So then I'll be able to use that for real estate. Perfect. Are you going to uh college right now, or are you in high school? Uh, university yes it's gonna be my third year but i'll be graduating this year oh, well then funny. hello you you can do a lot of internships here we can always give you internships and you can mm -hmm. use that yes. for your for your resume yes i'm actually doing an internship with rudy this fall as well uh well you have about 200 agents that you can do it too so it always oh, helps if the agents are willing to take you oh uh, well yes I'm, I'm don't, a service don't for everyone the door, in the girlfriend. Office. Don't be closing the door. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. No problem. We can always use somebody that has the energy and the willingness to actually learn and do something yes. because, you know, you're going to be using your degree for yeah. your own purpose and then help, to help us out as well. Yeah, so of course. Anybody yeah, I think that that's a great idea, Mamas. Anybody else has any other <laughs> tips that you guys are using for your marketing? Gracie? Miss Anna, I do. I, I'm sorry, I talk a lot. So, <laughs> but that's I did um, <laughs> I did the Bernie Market Days. I'm going to do next month again. I'm going to do it with Keith because last month um, and before that, I did it with um, 
somebody from Thrive Mortgage, a friend of mine, but I want to keep it PRG. So, um, but when I did it, I got at least five clients each time or potential clients. What? Really? So market days are okay, good. So, so if somebody you wants to- up? You bring uh -huh. a tent and you sit up there and then you just- Yep. It costs okay. maybe like a, about a 130, something like that. And it's a weekend, one weekend out of the month. And then um, it's every month and you get like a booth in the same area all the time, majority of the time. And um, I got even a sign that says, thank you veterans that I got on Sheen. So I could put it up on the canopy and I just set up and put, I get gifts from um, like Old Republic Title would give me a basket, um, inspector or pest control. I get each one of a basket so they can get in a drawing so I can get information of theirs. And it helps to get like leads to come in and um, people sign up. They actually do. And they'll say, yeah, I know somebody or here and there and what have you. So I always have my cards. That's and everything a great set up idea. That. And there's, that, there's other really ones. I do Bernie. Idea. Yeah, I do Bernie. And there's other ones that anybody wants to do. If y'all need help, let me know. There's the Garden Ridge. There's, you know, I, I would try to target the ones that are at, um, that are at close to the bases. And that will help you get more clients. So that's that's honestly a great idea because I I go to the Valores Market, you know, days also, and I have never seen a realtor, you know, there. They, I mean, there is realtor office right there um, that has been stealing a lot of agents from EXP <laughs> that doesn't do any of this. Well, they just do videos and they show oh, there's market days, but they don't do anything else with it. So I think that that's a great idea. Anybody else has any other ideas of like just thinking outside the box? Nope. All righty. Um, well, like I said, like, like community engagement is what I was talking about. Like, you know, how do we get involved with our community? Are any of you involved with um, like your schools, like your kids' schools, like being on the boards and stuff? I My kids are gone, like out of the house. But, um, you know, any of that stuff, are you guys like doing, um, you know, just school boards and sports events and stuff like that? Nothing? Promoting yourselves there? No, no. Sure, you, sure. Well, that, but I'm uh, as as well as you. Um, we are empty nesters, so we don't have any kids. <laughs> but you know, you can always look for teams for football teams that need need money. They usually will put your name out there. They will put you in the in the ballots in in their banners and everything. Like for O'Connor, I'm I'm one of the preferred realtors, so I put my name at the O'Connor. Uh program i'm always looking for you know to put my name and my big old face right there so i always pay those 300 dollars and i get a full page i have gotten like one or two leads but still people know yeah and then if you grab one of the kids and so i'm gonna sponsor one of the kids to be on the page with me so because those kids want to get the promotion they want to be like known and seen and everything so you can grab one of the kids and tell them hey you want to be in the page with me and then you know that always helps you to just keep people seeing you constantly you know even though my kids are gone and everything but you know i even um my son plays professional foot uh baseball in oklahoma right now i'm actually promoting myself in oklahoma like i mean i I just put my name out there. I'm like, and anybody wants to move to Texas, just call me. You know, San Antonio, we're, we open the door for you guys. We like everybody to move to Texas. <laughs> we don't discriminate. All righty, future goals. What are your future goals in regards to your lead generation and your marketing goals? Like, what do you guys think that you guys want to do that you guys have been thinking about this idea that maybe – you don't know how to structure it or how to do it. Is there anything that you guys want to do in the future that it's that there's just something that is just keeping you, you know, from doing it? Do you want to learn how to use Canva a little bit more if you tell so that we could utilize it every day on Facebook? Yeah, you know, that's a great, yeah, that's great because a lot of people don't know how to use Canva or, you know, anything that helps you to do those marketing flyers. You always rely on, you know, a title company or somebody to help you do those flyers and we cannot be doing that anymore. 
we have to be reliable. So great idea to do Canva. Anybody else? Again, we're coming to time. That I have a good. I have a suggestion. Um, yeah. I mean, you were talking about Canva. Uh, if less, can we just say if any of us hear of a Canva class? Because I really need to take advantage of that too. If any of us hear about a Canva class, can we just like post it on our Facebook so for the all of us to know about it? And um, the other yeah. thing is I was going to say of any of us that are creative, which I'm not, I'm a spreadsheet girl. Um, <laughs> but if any of us, let me see so y'all can see me. There we go. Hello. <laughs> so, hi. Um, if any of you are creative, because I'm not, like I said, I'm a spreadsheet girl, but y'all were talking about pop buys. I know that where I came from, my other uh, brokerage, they would have a, like every couple, like once a quarter, they would have, uh, someone would take over and say, okay, we're going to have a pop buy session. And then you know, you RSVP and then they, you know, they pitched in for all the supplies and then we would come and we would do our pop buys and we would leave with pop buys, you know? That's a great idea. And we could do that in our office. That is a great, we have the space. But and I'm not have the in charge because I'm not creative. <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. No, no, but it's a great idea. And definitely Pinterest and ChatGPT can help you with ideas. Yeah. So there is a lot of ways that we can actually get out of our, you know, from our, our little box. Like this, this paperwork that, that I gave you guys, this questionnaire, it was created on Canvas. I literally created it on Canvas with the topics from AI. All those questions, I didn't come up with them. Okay. Well, I'm just giving up my secrets. Mm -hmm. I didn't come up with them. Literally, it was all chat GPT. So, I mean, I put my flair mm -hmm. into it, but... You just have to step out of the box. So, like I said, just future goals make, you know, those goals can be personal. So you guys can just write in there, like, what are your goals that you guys want to achieve in the next six months? You know, because we, I know I'm struggling and I'm honest, you know, I'm struggling. Like it, the business is not the way that it, that it was a, two years ago or a year ago, even five years ago. So right now we just have to get out there. We have, we cannot hide behind the screen anymore. People need to know that we exist. People need to know that we're out there. People need to know who we are, what we're doing, who, what we serve. If we're only real um, residential, just promote yourself as residential. If you like commercial, do commercial farm, uh, rentals, whatever you're doing, make sure that you have a target audience and that you know who you are, um, serving and who who you want to target so just make sure that you're out there all the time anybody else wants to give us um any uh open sharing any resources books that you're reading um tips advice just for the business anything that you guys want to share just please share away i know i i get with independence title and they give me like a huge stack on you can see it a stack of cards for pop buys this one was my, the one that I used for the, the jam that I made. And it says real estate is my jam. And you can see it. Well, that's a great idea. And then this one is for veterans. And then I got like a ton of different ones. And this one is for school. So when school starts, it says, um, thank you for being so dependable. <laughs> so oh. it's a good pop by to give. And all you have to do is, you know, poke a little hole, put, you know, a uh, ribbon or whatever around it. And then you can write all the back or on the front because it leaves space for you to write on all of them. So the, that's they a have great like, idea. They have like every holiday, every anything you could think of, they have it. If they don't have it, they'll create it for you. Oh, another one, another thing. Make sure you guys are using your QR codes. Create a QR code because a QR code is the easiest way of people just taking a picture of it and contacting you instead of having to write down, having to be, you know, entering into a phone, you know, the information. If you just take a picture of that QR code, you are transferring all your information to potential buyers or sellers. So please, please, please get your QR codes. Oh, you guys are 
Now, just get to yeah, a couple of classes I mentioned this. I think for me, I put uh, two things. One, if you're going to do social media, if you got to focus on one or two, maybe just one. Because if you try to say, I'm going to do TikTok, I'm going to do Facebook, I'm going to do all this stuff, and you don't follow through, then it's almost worthless. If you're saying, I'm going to create all these accounts, try to do that, and you like never go back, so that's almost worthless. And the other thing, I go to three F, so of course, uh, and, and it would be, of course, follow up, follow through, and follow back. So if you go to open house, people sign sign up and say like, oh, I want to buy a house, but I'm not ready. It's in two months. I mean, you waste it, you waste it, but you invest it four or five hours, whatever it is, and you don't follow up. You're like, okay, oh, this guy's not ready. You don't put him in your CRM. You don't follow up with them. You know, they forget about you because, you know, they went to many open houses. So I always say, you know, if you're going to do it, you're going to do an open house. If you're going to do it, do it. If you're not going to do it, just stay home and stay home. Be one of those agents that eventually hang up your license. If you're going to do it, follow up, follow through, and follow that. If you're not going to follow that, then you're not going to succeed. The three Fs. The Fs that we want to hear, not the other F. I want to mention one so last definitely. thing. Yes. Yeah, I want to mention one last thing. Uh, the other, uh, This is on Facebook. Uh, the other day, I was watching something on uh, YouTube, and there was Tom Jones on The Voice. And I really liked it, you know, and I went ahead and took it and placed, put it on uh, Facebook and mentioned that, you know, hey, this love this guy, man. I've always, always thought he was incredible, blah, blah, blah. I had 400, I think, followers. You know, two weeks later, I've got 25,000 followers from that one. And I'm like, okay, well, now I've got all these followers. <laughs> I need to do something with them, <laughs> you know? So You even impressed Sandy's daughter. Sandy's yeah, I saw the face. Just went like, what? <laughs> I saw the face. I said, wow, if she's impressed, well, then, you it's know, that was, that was the right 25, thing. 25,000 new followers. Jeez, Louise. Yeah. Was that I know. Facebook? Hey, what did you do? <laughs> I love that. Okay, I need a picture with all of you guys including the Zoom, because we want to make sure that everybody knows what we do in our office, that we're awesome like this. Mm -hmm. So we can get more agents to join us. Okay. See, this is what we got to do. Always put your stuff on, Insta on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. You got to share. All right, get in there. Yay. Best office in town. Okay, anybody else has any anything else to add to the class that you guys want to share that you guys just feel like, oh, I remember this. Oh, how to create, okay, I'll, I'll show you. I'll give you the, the link so you can create it. Yes. Yes. No, 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 it's not difficult at all. Uh, even even um, chat GPT can create it too. Oh, but, hold on, please. yeah. Uh, if you're gonna do an open house, one of the things that I've done it, and I've done it pretty good on it. So you said the QR code, QR code, QR code monkey. If you do an open house, you know, have your open house sign one, just cost a couple of bucks. You do, uh, you know, make a sign. What is your house worth? Do a QR code. When you do an open house, just post it on there. People are probably not gonna get off to see the house. They're like, oh, that house is, you know, after they do all the drive through to get you the house, the house is not the curb appeal, but it says what is my house worth. They're gonna scan it, and if they're gonna say like, what is my house worth? And, Everybody wants to know what the house is for. Mm -hmm. So you just never know, you know, at least you'll be able to clean your CRM and who knows, right? Mm -hmm. If you start following them doing the three apps, you know, they may call you back and say, like, that's how I found out my house, right? If they don't have anybody, any agent, you know, you might be their agent. QR Monkey is really good to create QRs as well, you know, because you can create a QR that just takes you straight to the CRM and, and, and you know, if you want just to specifically just to the properties, et cetera. Uh, that is great tip because yeah, like you say, a lot of people are not going to want to call. A lot of people are not going to want to go into the website because it's too much typing. A lot of people just want to take a darn picture and just be able to get all of the information to be, you know, just promulgated right there. So QR codes are a must. And as you guys can see, I put my QR code on that flyer that you guys got. So it's all there. So all the way at the at, on the back, like the last page, my QR code is right there. I have a uh, question so about Anthony, that. Anthony from Capital Title said, yes, he'll do a Canvas class. So we'll get with you and uh, set it up. 
Anthony. So Anthony is going to do a Canvas class. So you guys make sure to sign up. And always look at the emails that Clint is sending us because the classes are there. He just had a CapCut class. CapCut is amazing for Reels. So if you guys want to use Reels, if you guys want to learn how to do it, because if you guys do one Reel on CapCut, you can share it on all of your social media uh, platforms. So you don't even have to worry about it. Like literally just one uh you just do one and it just goes into all of your your social media so learn CapCut. anybody else had somebody over there had something right i, I yeah. had a question um regarding that uh qr code for the what is your ha house worth um what is it that where does it go when they scan it what is where does it go it goes wherever you want. I have a link to uh, my PRG CRM. To, okay. If you have a, the, has a website, or to my website. Okay. And then where on your website? I mean, what is it? Oh, so so you have what it used to be KB4. So it goes, if you're, I mean, it's me for us right now. So we have, it goes to your KB4, and you'll get an email, you'll get a link, and, and come, hey, you have a new, whatever, you have a new lead, and you get it up. Yeah. Basically, a QR code is a link, literally. So it's basically instead of putting links any, you know, now it's or like the www blah 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 blah. Now you just scan the QR code and that it becomes a link. So you create from whatever link that you want to direct that people to, you create a QR code. So that's people what, just take a picture of it and it just directs them to the link that you want to take them to. Okay. That's what I'm asking. What what link set up on your if you have it set up on your KB4, it'll give you the information that they fill out as their as your client. Yeah. So do you use number one? Do you use KB Core? Yes. Okay. Yes. So KB Core is your CRM. So that's your database. So anything from your database, from your KB Core, you will create a QR code from whatever link that you want to pick. Um, and you will create that and then the QR code, whenever they take that picture, it will direct them to fill out that page and put their information. And then it will get to you as a new prospect, a new client, new buyer, whatever. So you'll get that I, database. That's what I'm asking. What link, where exactly in the KB Core does it oh, go? Oh, it's, it's in KB Core. You just... If you want, I would go to EMB Title. They have a class in KB Core. I mean, it's awesome. You'll, you'll learn everything. You'll be, you'll be shocked. You'll be like, yeah. I got to go five more times. Yes. Just yeah, no, yeah. I, I agree. It's amazing. I was going to suggest that to you, Lionel, if you haven't been to the KB Core class. It's amazing. I, you're right. I, I probably only retained like 25% of it. I got to go again. So You don't have to go at least four yeah. times. No, I agree. I agree because, yeah. but I am. You know, like, okay. you know how Andrew gives us the guideline, the Google Docs? Just go back to uh, oh. QR Code Monkey. Go back to those docs and literally right there, you'll be able to follow along and, and he'll come back to you. Okay. okay that, yeah. I do that. I yeah. do that a lot because I'm like, okay, he told me something, but I don't remember what, what it was. So you That's go back good. to the docs and then he'll help you. Okay, also, Julia. Also, the QR code, you can generate it through Canva. Yes. Okay. There is many... Uh, Chat GPT generates QR codes. Um, you know, I have my QR code is Blink. So Blink is basically my contacts. And in there, I have all of my links. I have my PRG links. I have my social media links. I have, uh, you know, a, a link that just takes them to um, if they want to see a, a CMA, stuff like that. So it, it just catches people. So my QR code just, it's, it's a grab on. But um, anything else that you guys, because we're getting to that time that, you know, I know everybody's busy and, you know, you guys got stuff to do, but I just wanted to make sure that we all interact and we learn from each other. Tell me, Julia. Thank you so much for doing this class. It was very good. I like it. Oh, I appreciate natural. it. You're natural. That <laughs> <laughs> was really hard because I literally, I wanted to come up with something that we all can interact because I know that we, when we go to classes and we just listen and listen and we have so much that we want to spill and, you know, we want to talk about our experiences and what, what's working for us and everything. So this is why masterminds are always good because we all interact and we all 
give each other tips and on what's helping. And, you know, some of us, you know, can be just doing things the old way. Some of us can be way too progressive for, you know, the normal agent. So just learning from each other is always good. All righty, guys. I think we're going to wrap this up. And thank I want to thank you all. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if you guys like the class, let me know. And I Bye can everybody. come up with another mastermind for next week or, you know, every two weeks we can do another one. Yeah. You guys like it? Yeah. Yes? yes. You guys liked it? Well, of course. No, but that's great. I mean, you learned something, right? If you guys come walk away with one thing from today's class, that made my day. Y'all advertise the right? I started doing that. Like, yeah, like, more but I didn't get anybody to sign up. But but it's it's a great idea. Anybody uses Eventbrite for uh, their open houses? Eventbrite is like an event page. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. I, I, I know that. Yeah. I mean, uh, you can also do events on Facebook. If you advertise on Facebook, you can do an event like for the open house and they have people start signing up and everything. So it, it gives you an idea of people interested. So always create an event for stuff. So, yes. All righty, guys. Peace out. Adios. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You are all part of the experience.